Hi there folks. I don't know if you've been to your local tackle shop recently, but you might have noticed that the price of a lot of lures has gone up quite dramatically in the past few months. A lot of this has to do with the ongoing trade tariffs um, between the United States and various countries. And let's face it, a lot of our tackle is no longer made in the United States. Um, one of the lures that I really like to use is a Castmaster style spoon. These are a solid steel or brass slab spoons. They're very versatile. Um, you can fish them, uh, just cast and retrieve. You can vertically jig them. You can fish them in freshwater or saltwater for a variety of species. You can really bomb them out there in windy conditions and you can troll them. There's just a lot of things you can do with this style of spoon. But the price of these things has gone up quite a bit just because it's usually solid steel and that's where a lot of the tariffs are hitting the hardest. So I wanted to show you a way to make these for anywhere from a buck to two dollars um, per spoon rather than the retail which they're going anywhere from three and a half up to five bucks right now. So you can go to lureartsonline.com and I'm going to include all the parts and links below in the description and they have these Castmaster style spoons already rigged with the appropriate size split rings from sizes 1 8 ounce all the way up to above an ounce. I'm also going to include in there in the description um, details on what the recommended hook sizes for the different size spoons. This spoon here I'm rigging up is a 1 ounce spoon and I'm going to put a size 2 hook on it. All you need to do is get a hold of one of these split ring pliers. You can buy them on Lure Parts Online or any of your local tackle shops. You just put it in there and opens up the split ring. You slide the hook in and rotate it around that split ring and it's good to go. Now you always want to put the hook on the fat end of the spoon so the, the spoon is a little bit skinnier towards the top and gets fatter towards the end here. And that's where you want it because it creates the maximum wobble that way. Um, I'm just using a plain silver here. They also come in gold. Uh, but you can also use dressed hooks to create a little bit more flashy lure. This is um, one of their dressed hooks that come in packages of five. They call their red teaser trebles. It's a red treble hook with some flash boot tied on there. Looks really good. I think that's going to be great for fishing in salt water or for salmon and steelhead. Um, you can also make smaller ones. Here's a quarter ounce in silver. And that's going to take a size 8 hook. And like I said, I'm going to include the recommended size hooks for the different size spoons down below. Now you can dress these things up a little bit more too as well, other than just adding uh, different color hooks to them. You can also use products like this lure dip, which comes in a variety of colors, blue and red. Here you can see I've dipped this one in blue. It gives it a nice light blue sheen. And this can actually be cleaned off with um, a, a special cleaner as well. It actually stays on there fairly well and you can do multiple dips to make it darker. They come in red as well. Here's one that I've done up in a red dip. Um, it just adds a little bit of a different color to it. Um, and you can dip it multiple times or dip it halfway like I did here and left a little bit of silver flash up on top. You can even dip the hooks um, to make the hooks red as well. So there's a lot of ways you can dress these things up. Another way that you can do it that's really easy is you can just buy a variety of pack of these uh, holographic stickers. They come in a bunch of different colors and then what I use is a hole punch to knock holes in it and then I take the little dots out and I put them on top of the spoon to add a little bit of color there too. So a really easy way to make some really effective lures for pretty cheap. I love these things. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get uh, the information back to you that you need and you can get out there and start fishing these awesome lures. See you guys.